Um, my guest today is Levi McGrath, all the way from Kananara in uh, Australia's northwest out in the park. Uh, thanks for joining <laughs> me today, mate. Oh, it's great. Great to talk to you again, Tim. It's great. Yeah. Um, now, you've been busy. We've been uh, re-recording Tear the Walls Down and you've collaborated on this signal, single. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec, okay, because we want to hear all about it. Uh, but last time I spoke yeah, awesome. to you, you were still living in Melbourne. And so you've made the move to pretty much the furthest place away from Melbourne <laughs> and you can still stay in Australia. Tell us about that. We did. It's, it's been a real God journey. Um, it's been pretty incredible. So my, my family and I, we went on, on a family holiday um, back at the, the start of the kind of COVID lockdowns in Victoria. And we'd, we'd been through one and we'd, we'd heard rumours of a second kind of lockdown coming. And so we thought we'll have a quick holiday to New South Wales. We got up the coast and lockdown two started in Victoria, mid, mid holiday. And we thought, well, we could go back. Or we could pray and just see where, where God wants us to go. Like we didn't, didn't feel like really being, being locked down was, was for us and best suited for our family. And maybe there's something else out there. So I guess everyone wanted, wanted that too. But we, um, we prayed and, and felt God calling us up to the Northern Territory. And I, I had a friend who ran a, a music camp there um, for Aboriginal communities and Aboriginal kids to come in and learn music. So I went and helped out there for a few months. And again, we came to the point where we needed to pray and seek God's direction. And we had an opening to come across the border into Western Australia, into Kununurra. And so we came over here, had to isolate for a couple of weeks, and then both found um, jobs working with, with youth in town. So my, my wife and I are both super involved working in, in youth work and mentoring young people. I'm, I'm teaching music at a couple of places locally and then traveling to remote communities all around Kununurra, uh, any, anywhere between five and 10 hours away from here uh, to teach music every couple of months. So it's, it's been an extraordinary experience. What a great base for you, because you've been working, um, like doing the Instruments for Outback program for a while, right? And so yeah. this is, is kind of just an extension of what you've already been doing. And it's a great um, kind of uh, space for you, like geographically for you to kind of set up and, and head out and get amongst it. And next week you're heading to Northern Territory as well. Yeah, we are. We are, um, my, my buddy Andy and I, we, we run Instruments for the Outback together. He's still based in Victoria. And finally, after COVID, we can get back to face-to-face -to -face IFO trips. So we're heading to Gartha which is way out um, near, near Yakala and Gove in, in Arnhem Land. Uh, so we're traveling, yeah, a long, long way from Darwin. Uh, flying out into this tiny little community for a week uh, to spend time with some some teenage and, and young adult um, young men who are really keen to start a band and we we'd heard about them we got in touch with their teachers and you know you never know who's going to be the next Dr. G you know you never know who the next Baker boy is going to be so yeah we, we've been able to to drop some money on the community and, and invest in some musical instruments uh, for them and we'll go over and start to teach them keyboards, electric drums, guitars, some instruments maybe they've never never heard before and, and never seen. So it's it's going to be a fun time. That's so good. Okay. This is really cool. And you've but you haven't just left your music to the side. You've um you've recently you've uh, been working with a Brisbane artist and this is your first ever collaboration. Um is is that right? Like is it for your solo work yeah. this is your first time you've collaborated yeah. with an artist and it's someone from Brisbane. It's, it's very cool. It's very cool. So my, my manager, Kate, uh, she pointed out an, an artist to me uh, called Eliza King. And I hadn't heard of her before. And I, I started looking up her, her YouTube videos and her beautiful covers of, of worship songs and hymns. And she's just got such an effortless vocal style. It reminds me of a lot of like Brooke Fraser. And she'd, she'd played piano and sing these beautiful songs online. And I started thinking about a, a duet and, and who'd be perfect to kind of collaborate with. And I had this song, Tear the Walls Down. I knew I wanted to do something different with it. And it felt right to kind of get it out there in the, in the world at the moment. And I approached Eliza and yeah, amazingly, she said yes and came on board to, to sing this song. So we sing it as a duet. I take a verse, she takes a verse, and then we join together for the final chorus. And it's, it's made it. A, a really special project for me. It's it's really beautiful song. I can't wait for people to hear it. All right. Well, here's the thing. 
We're about to play it soon on air, and it'll be the very first time that it is played. Uh, I'm led to believe in Australia, and I think that's the case. So that's the claim that we're going with this morning. That's right. So, we're premiering with you guys. Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay. So, and it's, it sounds amazing. We're going to get to it soon. We'll play it real soon. Um, but th- it is a powerful song. Um, let's talk about what it means to to tear down the walls in in our day and age right now. What, is, what does the song mean to you? Look, I'll, I'll explain it like this. I, I've lived here for 18 months now in Kununurra and Kununurra is made up of 70% of the population is, is Indigenous, um, either from this area or from Halls Creek or Fitzroy Crossing or around um, this, this part of the world. They've, they've come to live here. And there's a lot of non-Indigenous as, as well that make up the other 30%. But with that comes a lot of racism, a lot of lack of understanding of some of the social struggles that, that Aboriginal people go through. And I was, I was coming out of work one night um, do some youth work down at the basketball center. I come outside and there's a lady who's had her windscreen cracked. And instead of calling the police, um, she calls her father and he races down. And the first Aboriginal kid he sees, he jumps out and starts beating up. And so I'm faced with a, a kind of risky decision for myself to, to get involved and kind of break up this, this fight with this kid who's been wrongly accused of, of smashing this, this window. And, and look, Youth crime is, is something that, that occurs uh, a lot in this town. There's a lot of kids um, that, are, that are growing up pretty tough um, with pretty tough circumstances of alcoholism at home and neglect. But anyway, this kid was just picked on just, just for being black. And, and this man wanted to vent his frustration and, and the language that came out of this guy's mouth, the racism that occurred that night, just, it just really startled me to, to see the, the prejudice and the bias and the hatred that is still in this world. Um, even in 2022. And so it, it really made me, I guess, put a, put a fire in my belly to release this song, um, to sing about actually tearing some of those walls down that we, we don't even know are, are building up. Some of those things are unconscious that, that we were raised with or, or were just part of our generation um, coming up. We, we have this inbuilt um, kind of prejudice towards certain people groups or, or certain issues and, and certain opinions. But but whether they're actually based on, on truth or actually are they, are they seasoned more to the point with, with God's love. And that's what I want to see through this song. Just, just people start to realize, man, I've been getting pretty hot about this particular issue. <laughs> and, and maybe I can put it through the lens of, of scripture. Maybe I can put it through the lens of, of God's love and, and actually live my life in a more peaceful way. So that's what I'm all about with this song. No, it's, it's a great, it's a powerful message. Because the thing is, we've been building up walls uh, since the dawn of time and Jesus came yeah. and teared down the walls and then we like to build them up again. So uh, just just while we're in this space, do you have any, um, uh, I don't know, maybe because I, I think the, the easy thing to do is to recognize that others have walls up. Right. So, you know, your story is a prime example of, of um, you know, something sparking that idea. Oh, gee, we, we do have walls up for sure. Um, but yeah. how do we make, how do we internalize it and say, okay, I've got walls up. How can I recognize those walls and what can I do about it? Do you have any tips around that? Yeah, for sure. I, I think for me in, in writing the song was, was a very kind of healing process for myself because it's, it's not written about a particular issue or a global issue or even um, indigenous issues that we face here in Australia. It's, it's written from the perspective of a broken relationship. And, and for me, it came, came down to my family relationships and even more personally to my marriage and looking at the walls I built up between my wife and I, mm. you know, because she didn't do the dishes one night the way I liked or, or maybe um, she picked on me for watching too much footy on the weekend, whatever it is, you know, we, we built up these walls of just annoyance and frustration between each other. And, and before you, you know it, that relationship is becoming sour. So for me, it, it's taken prayer. It's taken just, just seeking, seeking God, um, through his word and, and praying together with my wife over these issues and being honest. I think that's the biggest thing, just being honest with myself about some of the walls I'm building up and sharing that with my wife, sharing that with my family, even though it's tough. Um, and that's, that's the first step to just freedom from that. So it's beautiful. All right. Great. All right. Well, without further ado, let's listen to the single. Would you like to introduce your brand new single for the first time uh, being played here on 96.5 and around the nation? Love to.
So this is Levi McGrath uh, with Tear the Walls Down featuring Eliza King. Yeah. 